couple of little feathers here. It don't look like much right now, but last night we had a hell of a time trying to get them in. And there was tornado warnings and the craziest wind pushing our boat into the dock right here. Just an awful night. Getting ready to leave right now. We just want to get out of the stock. It's not so bad. All in all, we had a pretty terrifying night. Between the tornado warnings and the wind pushing us as hard as it could against the dock all night, we didn't get a wink of sleep. At 3 a.m., the side of the boat started bashing into the dock. Ben and I jumped out of the bed as fast as we could to save the boat. He pushed as hard as he could and I tried to put the fenders in. We're all bundled up this morning. We thought it was summer for a while, but shocker, it's not. <laughs> Back to winter. We are in Freeport Marina on the ICW in South Carolina right before Georgia. Uh, I would recommend this flying place to everybody who's coming down the ICW because as the name implies, it is in fact free. <laughs> For it is now a bankrupt marina. Um, they didn't ever get it off the ground, so there's apparently uh, a bunch of docks and power. But Not nobody, water, to, but... nobody to, to, to give money to, which is fine by me because I don't want to give it to them. And this is what it looks like. Apparently there's a pretty cool bar. Comes highly recommended. We found our friends there again, another Irwin, Plan B. Ben is telling me this is his dream. A cute little marina of my own? Yeah, absolutely, that's my dream. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. You know, I'd have to throw out people like me all the time, but hey, <laughs> that's part of the deal. some little golf carts. Too bad. It's uh, not warm tonight. Yesterday was summer, today is winter. It looks like a little face on the back of the tub. Are you into this or not? You gotta find your way out of there, buddy. He's like, I'm okay with this. Where's the water? Yeah, you wanna get out? <laughs> yes. Archaeological evidence suggests early human activity on Dabuski Island, uh, 12,000 BC. The seasonal habitation tied to the harvesting of coastal resources. Early European inhabitants also realized the importance of the coastal waterways for navigation and transportation, utilizing tidal waters as a major coastal highway to control the there. All right. Later improvements would formalize the extent of this inland water route, 
and the selection of Copper River, which is a small portion of what is now the Intracoastal Waterway, ICW, a 3,000 mile long inland shipping channel that stretches along the east and gulf coasts. The Atlantic portion of the ICW extends from Norfolk to Key West, traveling past Tafuki Island on its journey south. I have a cute little, uh, cute tiny houses here. We need a million dollars to, to purchase houses. a little place. We need a million party. dollars. And, and get... I thought we were going to be nomads and travel the world. But we could be. But we would have a, a, a home base to call. Tiki! Tiki tiki! I think what's particularly funny is this ECM machine in the middle of nowhere. That cracks me up. I'm guessing these are for rent. Yep. This is my manatee now. I'm having now, a problem here, folks. Now, now we, we're, it's two to one, okay? So now you're only up by one. I'm buying the manatee. I like him, he's mine. We're having a stuffed animal war. I bought um, Pugans in Charleston, South Carolina. And don't forget about your scary little quest to find. Took me like everywhere on the planet to get <laughs> Ghost from CBS, mind you. <laughs> This is to, to get back for the CBS ghost. Can I, I still owe him? you a Pooga. Can I name it at least? Come on. I want to name him. What are you going to name him? Manny. Yeah, that's what I figured it was going to be. <laughs> Manny the Mantatee. Manny the Mantatee, maybe that works. Well, but folks, it could have been worse. It could have been like that. The pink octopus? Hey, don't rule the pink <laughs> octopus out. I got to figure that out until tomorrow, so we <laughs> got time for a pink octopus later. We were bad. Ben bought a manta tree. Here, get that on my face. And I bought this. It's a mahi. <laughs> I don't think we needed either one, but it happened. Ready. Okay, folks, we are on Dafuski Island. We are currently at Freeport Marina. We are going to head up Copper River Road to Hague Point Road to Oak Ridge Lane to... Nope, oh, sorry. To School Road. And then down to the school where there's a post office box to mail things in. We're headed to mail some postcards. So, this is where we're going. We might make it a thing where if you become a Patreon, we'll send you postcards um, every couple places we go or so. Depending on where we find postcards and where there's a post office. Yeah, and so, how cool you are. And how cool you are, yep. So, that might be a thing. I'm going to set it up in Patreon soon. This is where we're going. Ben has this thing for pirate maps. I do like to collect them. Like That's a pirate map I typically collect, but this is a good enough one for me for here. I like it. It'll work for me. This is starting to look a tad bit Jurassic Parky. Hey, I like it, man. I think this place is a winner. I think we should buy all this property in the marina and live here forever and, and become pirates. <laughs> ben just got here. He's in love. you think, folks, should I move to Jurassic Park with, with Ben? Or should we continue sailing for the rest of our lives? Well, My vote's sail. for the we sailing. We can have this as a home port. <laughs> home port, Jurassic Park, South Carolina. Exactly. It sounds got a ring to it. <laughs> These trees in here are just so cool. Oh, I'm getting run over by a truck. Ben to climb the tree. He says no. Looks like an easy one. It would it's be really easy cool. Tree to climb, but I got a feeling that there might be insects and critters and things in that tree. <laughs> this place kind of reminds me of like Bohicket, but cool. <laughs> Look at this incredible sunset. This place is so pretty. Two boats. Hey everyone, talking about our favorite snacks here on the Scotch Mist. Alright, snack number one. These. The baked pork rinds. 
They're our favorites. Every time this bag makes an appearance, the lion jumps into action. He loves his pork rinds. Snack number two, back from the 90s. Clearly Canadian. I already drank this one. <laughs> Snack number three. This is one of Goliath's ultimate favorites. Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Goliath's <laughs> really anxious about this. Oh, there he goes with the Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Ben likes it. I also like this. <laughs> Favorite snack number four, also out of the 90s. Dunkaroos. This is the chocolate one. We also like the vanilla, but we prefer the chocolate. Okay, number five. Number five may not be for everybody, but we love them. Goliath loves them, I love them, and Ben loves them. Kipper Snacks. It's fish in a can, and we love it. <laughs> and last but not least, number six, Tate's Chocolate Chip Cookies. They are our favorites. We love them a lot. <laughs> We're just about to enter Georgia. We're in a conga line over here with a bunch of boats trying to go through the bridge. We're the caboose on the conga line. We have our friends Plan B in front of us. Another Irwin. nervous about this boat going through. Gotta wait till low tide to see if it's mass fat.
Next week on Major Payne Sailing, we explore Savannah, Georgia. Yeah? What do you think? You got antlers. You look like good. It. Honestly? Yep. Might be a thing. Might be a thing. Well, it's like digging a hole down there. <laughs> what are you going to do with that now? <laughs> that was into that one. If you're new to our channel, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave us a like. We love getting comments and questions from our viewers. Please leave us a comment below. It would make our day. Help us afford to keep the channel going by becoming a Patreon. Patreons throw us a couple dollars weekly for each episode we put out. We also take one-time contributions on Cash App and Venmo.